the idea of speciation comes in. That's where the idea of speciation comes in. When the new species is so different that it cannot create a viable offspring with the um, originating species, then you cannot. You can say, okay, there's been um, speciation because of evolution and the pressure, right? All right, let's let's let me show you the back of this. Let's do this. I am gonna see. The one able walk on. The one able walk on. Um, the one able walk on. Look at this. This is so cute. You see, these are the high. This this peak. These are high peaks. And then look at this. This in other baradaba animal animal animal. I see. It goes even a lot deeper than this. It goes a lot, lot deeper than this. Shianje Ishagama. Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so. Good morning, everybody. We for We Media, Frank Smoke Fire, live and direct up in Leggett, California. Ha, ah, this place, uh, it's uh, very early in the morning. It's not even 7 o'clock yet. But I was able to get up early today because see my background, see the background. See all the way. Uh, Omo. <laughs> Because some of the animals, what would they... I don't want yanam like that. What would they try? You understand? Uh, some of them, what would they try hold? Na late night, you go catch them. Or early in the morning. Some of them, na, Some of them are nocturnal. Meaning, they are more active at night. So usually, that's when they, they hunt. That's when they, they look for food. So when they, they walk out like that, na, they, you go come... Uh -huh. You go hold them, now there you go grab them as they walk out for night, you understand? Uh, but when not way daylight don't enter. Some of them don't enter into their little crave and little, little holes where they don't dig for themselves. So now, may I show one? Some people, they wonder whether, what did they happen? This way, some people say that here the world end. <laughs> they say that here the world end, I say, or... If you look, if you're into geography, you will learn about highlands and you will learn about craters. Okay, so now this uh, this place is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world. People come out here just to observe nature, right? This is where you see the craziest and highest highlands, and then you see the deepest craters. Some people they talk say back in the day. Um, when the dinosaurs were still perambulating the world so that some meteors fell on the earth or hit the earth and then exterminated the dinosaurs so people believe that this was one of the one of the places where the dinosaurs thrived you understand and then when the meteor hit it created some badass you know craters over here i go show on one of the craters now but then there are highlands because usually when there are troughs then there are peak when you have a peak it's natural to have a trough also right meaning a peak or the zenith some people say call them peak some call them zenith some call it uh, the apogee uh some people call it uh, the pinnacle uh -huh. Just like our company, Pinnacle Entertainment, right? Uh -huh. So we've seen the. This is one of the uh, apogees here, one of the highest points. So now let me take you guys to where, make a show now where, when I go see now. Wow, how can you have such a highland and next to it immediately you have a crazy ass crater? And these craters are like highly vegetative. You know, they have um, nice vegetation. So it's not one of those uh, desert craters. This one are real vegetative craters. So a, a lot of agriculturists, horticulturists are coming around here trying to understand how come such craters over here will have such very, very green and valid vegetation. There's got to be something about the soil. So when the meteor hit, was the, were there any components from the moss or from the moon that came that uh, where the components that came down with them, and we, did, those, did those components improve the soil? Does it improve the plant life? Let me put it this way: Does it improve the plant life around here? Because most horticulturists are here wondering, and they have a lot of species, a lot of variation um, of um, 
plants and animals you know so they are wondering if this is a good in fact they, they study speciation here the idea of speciation is very valid here because you see a lot of plants and a lot of animals cohabit you know cohabitating right they are living together and uh, so they try to figure out if the ecosystem is technically perfect in this region right now let's let's see let's show you because the idea of speciation we're going to talk about it one of these videos speciation is when during the uh, process of evolution right when a particular if you have some traits that start changing they start as alleles and they change and then when the traits become so different the idea of speciation comes in that's where the idea of speciation comes in when the new species is so different that it cannot create a viable offspring with the um, originating species then you cannot you can say okay there's been um, speciation because of evolution and the pressure right uh, let's let's let me show you the back of this let's do this I make on see the one able work on Look at this. This is so cute. You see, these are the high this this peak these are high peaks and then look at this. This in other animal 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 I see. It goes even a lot deeper than this. It goes a lot lot deeper than this. I hope we know where the Morondo were. And I wanna hear me give it. I hope we made it for real. Now, let me show you guys. Look at that. The one. Nice vegetation. The one on the line, la 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 la. No one had it. I'm mini. And I'm mini. So let me show. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see the mini. Now, this is one of the areas where you have lakes, small lakes in craters. They are not really continuous. And then people are wondering, they do have their own, um, they do have their own animals. They have their own species. They have, so people are wondering how some of, some of them get fish. How the fish take enter here? Whether they climb from under the uh, Pacific Ocean, enter this side, you understand? Uh, but that's, we're going to have that topic discussed next when we talk about um, how some of these dry lands were reclaimed after <laughs> the tectonic plates shifted back in the day and then possible hits by meteors and other uh geographical impacts on the uh ecosystem here so we're going to discuss that next maybe next i think two days to come so lequano just enjoy the view and then uh look at that look at that this is so beautiful my people wow 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 my people when i don't see them make a show at the back <laughs> now we did here fracas small fire we for women they are still exploring natural habitat now so it they be here eh? when they own